am waiting for um, the fishing guy to get here. The sign says um, he won't be back till 3.30. It's 3.18. Now I'm going to have to get some more bait. And I'm going to go fish the... Um, I was fishing in the ocean, but now I'm going to go fish in the bay. So I'm going to get some more bait and uh, hooks and probably some bobbers. Because if you bobber fish here, you're more likely to catch more fish. So, alright. Let's see how this goes. There's a store over there. Right there, just store charter fishing and all that stuff. So cool. First fish, turn this off. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is, but it looks good. All right, so, got my first fish. I don't even know what it is. Little, I don't even know. Snapper, uh, who knows what this is, but it's a good fish. Uh, so, waiting all day to catch this. You can see. Look at the color on that. Caught off the shrimp and it took me a while to get it. So she throw it back. This battery has a very long, I mean very long lifetime. I mean it's out there for an hour and it's still full battery. Alright. So, um, anyways, I just want to say, uh, that was like a good fishing day because the first two days I was here, I didn't really catch anything and I was like worried because it's cold and it's winter in Florida. So when the tide's out, like they said, so the largemen come in far, it's out, the fish don't feed, they just sit around and do nothing. So I was very worried she's been like that for a couple of days, but once the tide comes in, that's when all the crabs and bait fish come out and the fish come towards you to eat them so that's when it's a good time to fish and they said something about the full moon that messes up comes in because i'm going fishing again tomorrow and where i'm fishing tomorrow is like underneath the bridge and um a lot of people have fish it and the main thing they use is swim baits and you can catch big snook bluefish whatever's out there tarpon so for tomorrow um i met this guy up there he gave me like some um um, like swim baits and stuff. He's a very nice guy. He was just telling me that uh, just fish swim baits here in the winter time because that's what the snook and they were gonna get. So he gave me like three swim baits and he also said for the braided line, the fish could see it here because they're more sensitive to like bass where we fish. Like where I, I'm a bass angler, or so when I fish for bass, they just strike it. These snook and redfish and drum, black drum, they just they look at the line. They know that it's there and they won't bite it because they think it's they know it's a hook and stuff so he gave me some like clear i don't even know what it is it's not line it's like a leader or something he said make that five feet so the fish don't see that so i'm gonna do that tomorrow when i go to the underneath the bridge with all the people in florida and um and probably catch something really big on a swim bait so i might use my i'm gonna use my saltwater pool but i might take i might throw that tiger stick the ugly because that's strong and his fish are very strong so i just want to say uh thanks for watching this episode um comment below and tell me if you liked it or not and hit the hit the like button and stay tuned in for tomorrow's episode underneath the bridge all right peace